What's up everybody? Brood here and we're back today playing some more of our Malice Dark Blade Vortex campaign. Let's play. Picking up where we left off last time. Sorry about the weird ending once again to the last episode. It always feels bad when you accidentally mess up. God damn it, Sarkin. Shut up. When you accidentally mess up a recording based on some sort of weird misclick, that'll never feel good. Um, but we're back. We're here today. Let's go ahead and sort out the things that we left for the end of the campaign. To your den. Get back closer to Hagrave. Can we make it all the way back? Make it within reinforcement range, which is the important thing. So let's get back there. We've got a little bit of gold. See if uh, maybe Malekith will hook me up. He sure did. Alright, does that give me enough to do anything? Probably not. I can upgrade some stuff. We've got two population surplus there. So, yeah, we really need to upgrade Tor Elasaur. This place needs to get uh, some walls pretty badly or some uh, some garrison units. Because right now I'm looking at it and I noticed as I was kind of zipping around and trying to see what was going on in our campaign since last we left off, this place is going to have a rebellion very soon. And we kind of can't afford... To stick an army in here and then make it strong enough to defend further. itself. We could get an army. Um, I see here we could get a Supreme Sorceress. I'm looking at this loyalty. I, I'd want the highest base loyalty. I almost don't care what type of lord it is. But 3 to 8. Much better than a 2 to 7. We rolled very low when we recruited. Uh, we could end up having an army rebel. Like for instance this guy. A 1 to 6. That's horrible. They all seem to have pretty low loyalty. Whereas the uh, the sorceresses seem to kind of like us. It would just be like which one would have the best ability. Confidence is pretty cool. Plus four leadership to your entire army is a pretty strong boon. Uh, but anyway, guys. That's where we're at there. The Black Ark's recruiting a couple units. Yeah. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to send the Black Ark here to try and stop that rebellion. And then that's going to leave, unfortunately, that's going to leave Malice a bit vulnerable. And I think we just kind of sit there. Let's, uh, let's roll here. Thankfully, though, Hagrafe now has walls. It can defend itself. Mines are done. Come on, Krokar, don't hurt me. You vaguely resemble the disgusting vermin seen in the mines of Hagrid. Okay, Tretch has sown his ugly head. So I was looking around, and I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode, but I'm pretty sure all of this is, is Tretch. And I think he's beating the hell out of uh, this faction here. Which is good, because they hated us. And since Nagaron is now, you know, with us in the war... We can send Malekith south to help us fight on that flank. Yeah, they're destroyed now. Jesus. Okay. Imminent Rebellion in the Sea of Dread. Where's that? Here. Sure. Okay. They're going to be there next turn. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Queek is right there. We could potentially go and attack him. Oh my gosh, we've been plagued. Okay, one one catastrophe at a time. Um, let's let's go here. Will this help our public order? Because I kind of want a rebellion that I can quickly smash. It does. It buys me another time. It buys me one more turn. But we're gonna lose units. Is that because? They're currently having a storm. Okay, that makes sense. I can't really see it. But they are having a storm. Let's bump that up. Try and get some walls here. Man, I would think because I'm like, I'm actually in the city, that I would be immune to attrition, but I'm not. Let's, let's pop out. Now, something else I could do that I didn't even think about that. I could make another army and give them all these units. 
and just totally strip down my black art. But what will happen is these guys will go back to being full costed and my income will drop to zero. But I will have another army. That's an interesting thought. Let's see, if I hop out of here, let's just move slightly out. We can always get back in if we need to. Yeah, we've moved way too much to help ourselves with the attrition. So let's just hop back in. Buy ourselves an extra turn. And the biggest thing is, what are we going to do with Malice? Who now has the plague on him. He needs... He almost needs the Black Ark near him to give him the bonuses to his, uh... To his healing. We've got Fell Cargo here. Moving the flock. I don't see Tretch's army. I'm assuming it's here, because they just... Smash Clark Loran. The feral don't flinch. Okay, another one of these where we have to defeat an army in battle. We're a little bit injured, but we might be able to take a certain size battle. Let's risk it. Alright, and this is more of the type of army I was hoping to face instead of that one we faced last time when it was like 8 or 9 depth guard. Yeah, we can crush this army. They have artillery, but we might be able to sneak around. Uh, we're just a little injured, is Time all. For a morning. But I think we can take them. Our infantry quality, even injured, is still higher than theirs. Gonna need for our Black Arcs to do... Black Arc Corsairs, that is, to do a lot of work. Not trying to completely underestimate them. But this is a much more beatable army than the last one we faced. They have no mobility, but they do have artillery. We should just be able to rush them. This is not a good battlefield for us, you know, taking advantage of terrain. We are ready. Let us make a nice wide front line. Keep our lord a bit in the back. Most important units here. See what's on what side of the battlefield. I would love to shoot the depth guard to death, but they're in the center. Hmm. I think I'm gonna send. We want spaghetti lines as well. I'm gonna send these guys to this flank, and we're gonna overload that flank and then push. But either way, we're going as fast as we can to the other side of the battlefield. They are not going to come to us. Oh, can you not walk through this? That's annoying. Well, the wheels are set in motion now. It's too late. On to slaughter. And they're going to shoot at my, you know, most intact and powerful unit. The terrain here doesn't offer much protection, but look how sweet this map is, though. This island map. Very cool. And when you get closer to the ground, you can hear the cold ones making noises. Come on, guys. Move faster. Let's get that info up. What is their crew doing? I feel like they're placed on this weird little hill and it's messing them up. Their line of sight might be slightly obstructed. Interesting. Advancing, going. Okay. So what we're going to want to do here, shoot there, shoot there, shoot there, shoot there, and then we'll charge in the rear here. Get that done. You guys need to come on that way. Let's keep our Lord back for now. And we're going to send our Dark Shards over there. To hash it out. You know what, let's send them in there. Nope, back up. That's not the engagement we want. Back up. Take that off. And they're attempting to protect the Karenade. They've got the Zombie Pirates. Let's charge them in the back here. And let's meet him in melee. I kind of we kind of lose that battle if we take it to range. Taking that fight in a ranged manner is definitely their strength. 
But forcing them into melee is definitely ours. So we'll sandwich them here. And we've got a lot of ranged firepower. Let's go ahead and shoot off to the side. Get a better, you know, more, more direct flanking attack. We need to crumple this. There we go. Alright, get the cab out. And these guys were supposed to go around a bit better. Get a full wrap. Let's attack them in the back. We are ready. Shoot them in the back. Merciless warriors. And now attack now them in the back. And then we'll just kind of fold up the whole flank that way. Carnage awaits. And fighting like this, we made it so that the carronades really aren't that big of a threat. Alright, let's fold them up. Bring these guys in and shut that down. All right, and just like that, the Death Guard, not so much of a problem anymore. So let's bring the Dark Shards in, have them shoot at the Lord. Should be winning that flank any moment now. Cold Ones are doing great work. Black Ark Corsairs, I mean, this is kind of a tough fight for them. You guys come back in. Dread Spears. Get the spears right there. We sense battle. That potion does nothing, which is probably why I forgot about it. Alright. They folded that entire unit up. So let's send the spears that way. And then the bleak swords over here. There you go. Shooting to the backs. That's a nice big blob. And the carronades are, for all intents and purposes, offline. And the zombies are getting mulched. Look at this kind of cool low lighting. I love the Corsairs. It actually makes me feel like pirates. Let's get our cab out of here. Oh, and they get rampaged at the last second. Not the smoothest fight. Bring this other unit back. We just need to get onto the Lord with something straight. Yeah, there we go. Okay, they're gone. Not happy we lost so many of our Cav, but... This should be worth it. We should get a huge payday from this. A huge payday that might help us build up some armies. And then stabilize. Doing this dual start has made this campaign particularly challenging. We could finish our stack here on Pardic, and perhaps finish our stack on our Black Ark. Yeah, we absolutely have to take the replenishment. If Tretch is coming for us, we need as many units as we can get as possible. So we got about 1,300 from the battle itself. Uh, the slaves are going to be, you know, valuable for sure. 5,000 to our treasury and a bonus 1,500 experience. Okay. That's good. Two turns until we get... Yeah, we're in our own our own waters here, so we're getting replenishment. Two turns until we get a rebellion here, which we're going to want to be around for. We need to boost our income. And this is going to be an extra 200 gold per turn. And let me go into our slave tab. Make sure, yes. So no more slaves to anywhere else. Only slaves... To there, which is partly why the corruption or the slave public order penalty is so high. Beast commander. But with that gold, see, this is a big problem as well because he's not in the Hagrave territory. It's messing with our income. Remains. Okay, let's go take Scrag Hole. It sucks that we've been plagued, comes for you. but if we take this easily, which we shall. And we will capture it. Because it looks like Krotgar's coming this way. And if we don't... If we just, like, sack it... We could sack it? Hmm. Okay, I can't zoom out. I think we can sack it once before Krotgar gets here. And that'll give us some replenishment as well. And more slaves. I I don't think... Yeah, Krogar can't get here and take this. We're going to take it. Glorious. 
We could take it this turn as well, or we could wait and ambush, potentially get an ambush off on Queek. So here's the thought, guys. We can go right in and take it now, right? Um, or we could wait till next turn and get a whole nother battle out of it, which will give us more gold, more experience, etc. Also, hitting level 10 on Malice is a big deal. Cold Heart is great. Casualties suffer from all attrition. I think we need this now. Will that help us in our current state? It says from all attrition, but it didn't look like it helped us versus this. Okay. Well, that sucks, because maybe the, uh... Okay, no. I clicked on it, and it looked like it shifted a little. Okay. Whereas, if we take this place now, we'll get some bonuses to our replenishment rate, and we might not lose as much, because we're going to go into a battle with Queek. Actually, this is all like clan rats. We can we can beat this. They're not even shielded. Unshielded clan rats, even with chevrons. We just have the range advantage. We have the magic advantage. We have terror. This place is going to rebel soon. That is quite difficult. Hmm. Okay. We need to upgrade the, the Grand Black Arc. Let's do that. Get that to level 3. And we can... Okay, we're not in a camp stance. Is this the same turn? Are we all are we still in the same turn? Yes, yes we are. Okay. Let's upgrade that. Let's upgrade this. And 5 turns, that'll give the Caverns of Sotek a Sorceress and a Black Dragon to help defend it. Very important. Stay away. I'm just thinking if I take Scraghole, will Queek come in? I'm not sure. We have a level on Pardic. We will go with another stack of Infamous Raider. And as I said, we hit level 10, so now we have access to the Regiments of Renown, should we so choose. tricky to know what the right thing to do here is. We we need so much. I have to just make sure I'm focusing on all the right things. This is all good. What do I do here? Income from slaves and income from trade. This is this is a crucial building that I feel like we need. It also gives us the the campaign movement range to get Pardic from one side to the other fast enough to defend it. I'm going to take this, and we're just going to keep stacking slaves. Yep. Can't really do anything about that. It keeps going to the Caverns of Sotek, which is weird, because Tor Serpendar is the capital. The rebellion's going to be here. I think I need to take this this turn. So this is how the series of events is going to go. I take this, this turn, Queek goes here, 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 or attacks me. That's basically like his options, right? He's either going to go around, straight to me, or through me. He's going to attack Tor Serpendar, which, you know, any of those options is fine. Even if I attack this, take it, and then I have to leave to go and deal with this, and he takes it, that's all fine. I'll just take it back from him. The thing that I don't want to happen is in two turns, Krokgar goes here, and then he goes here. And then he takes this, and then I'm cut off, and I've got this little tiny province instead of expanding this way and up and around like I planned to. So it's kind of trying to have that longer sight. And I don't have time next turn to take this. If I take this, I'll be stuck on it. I can't move after that. So then there'll be a rebellion here, and then it'll get much stronger. I want to crush it like the turn it appears. So let's just take this place. Let's occupy. I am no puppet. And that looks like it's helping us... Shut up, demon. It's hard to tell. I should have looked at, uh... We need to look at a multi... So, 86. I didn't look beforehand to see. It's interesting to learn how those types of mechanics work. It's worth it's worth investigating. 
And I'm happy we took this. At least we get an artisan's house that's going to add a little bit of gold. Uh, this place has furs, but the climate is unpleasant to us. So the construction cost is going to be much more expensive. 30% and 50% longer. Oh man, yeah, it sucks. It sucks to have these, these types of places. But Dawn's Light is suitable. And this place is also suitable. Watek, perhaps, how you say that? Any rights that could help us? This costs us not a lot of slaves, to be honest. This will give us income. But we're basically slaughtering slaves at a fast rate. Uh, but we get Dark Conduit. Interesting. This would have been a good thing to do before we knew we were going to take like a million battles. I should have, if I was going to do this this turn, I should have done it at the beginning of the turn. That way I could have gotten the benefits from that island battle. We'll see. I'm going to hold off on doing this. We might do that next turn. It lasts for quite a while, too. I've got at least one, two, three, and then if Tretch comes up, four battles on the horizon. Which is, should be more than enough to replace the slaves we're losing. Yeah, and here comes the rebellion. And Queet goes, it looked like he went this way. So, he's going to try and take something from us. Perhaps the caverns of Sotek. And they are sieging us. That's exactly what we figured. Blooded Axe Tribe are gone. Sword of Cain has been claimed. We have another imminent rebellion. And Hagrave. Let's go ahead and get back in there so we can get some gold. Actually kind of happy to see a rebellion. And to keep this guy happy, we are going to give him some more units. Sucks that we have no real recruitment here. The Hellebroni and the Crows of Cain have been unlocked. So they have regeneration and combat. And these guys have expert charge defense. But they have poison, I think, is their big claim to fame. We're going to hold off. We're going to recruit them probably next turn. Man, we do not have a lot of gold. Let's stop. Let's not spend anything until we do some battles. Alright, the storm is passed also down here. And we now have a level 3, a grand black arc. We need a lot of, of this population surplus to get the harpy cages, which is the next thing I wanted. The warrior hall would also be good. But we need a little bit of a little bit of gold for that. Okay. Well, there's only one thing to it now. We need to go over here and kill these guys. I don't know why it's giving them this kind of a balance bar. This type of balance bar will make it so that like I'm gonna lose some units. So we're gonna fight the battle and just manually crush them. Definitely not a scary garrison, or a scary uh, force, a couple spearmen, a princess. We could probably just send Malice and our master to go kill the princess. Let the front line grind it out. We don't care at all about the reinforcements there. What this army really needs is some artillery. We have no ability to draw the AI into bad positions, which is something that I value a lot whenever I'm fighting against the AI. You can win a lot of battles that way. A lot of battles you really have no business winning. The AI does not want to advance, but if you force it to... You can really put them into some situations. Alright, we'll send this is our Cav contingent. We're going to try and be mobile with them. The princess is a High Elf Lord that has, an, has a bow. Get our chariots over here. I like just using the Medusa as a behind the lines type of unit. And then sending her into melee blobs to cause terror. Try to use her, you know, to go out and harass is kind of... A bad idea when they have cavalry, certainly. Let's go ahead and deploy. Deploy. Dark flame. 
Let's go out here and get into the forest. Will they come? Like I said, we have no means of making them come to us. Look how cool this view is. Let's zoom down. There we go. No qualms. Tyrant of battle. Oh, okay. Blighted one. Will they come? You guys just come over here. Put you in a group eight. They'll just hold my flank. They don't appear to want to come. Alright, here we go. Nope, they're circling back. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, let's advance. It's a little cat and mouse game. Illyrian River archers are pretty annoying. These guys can just come over here. Do eight, and then we'll put these in nine. But where are we sending them? Here? There. Might as well make them some sort of a cohesive little force. And then lock them. And I'm just holding alt right now. Pushing forward. I mean, their Illyrian Reaver archers have the ranged advantage. As soon as we start shooting with this chariot, these Reavers are going to run forward. We don't want to go out too far ahead. Oh, I forgot. Malice, he's not on spite yet. What am I doing? Our, mas our master is, though, correct? Yeah, he's on a cold one. Yeah, he needs to be in a different group then. Dark blade. Now let's you come here, buddy. Moving out. Moving. Quick. Get in the woods. Striding. And let's push forward. Whoop. I hit four. There we go. Push forward there. Lock it up. Alright, let's go in. They're tired of just taking the hits. Put ourselves at an angle. They're charging in with the calf. Lock these guys and send them forward. There we go. And our princess is going to be a big factor here. We can use a chill win. Master, you go over there. Malice, you see if you can't get them from the side. And they're trying to draw me into some spears. Something I really don't want to do is overcomplicate this very simple battle. And I see that my charge has stopped for some reason. Let's pull out. Blade wind should be pretty stable. Let's back out of there so we don't get smashed with my own blade wind. Why are you guys going that way? Go this way. We can't catch those Illyrian Reavers. So we're just going to go here. And that's, I mean, that's it, guys. We didn't, we didn't have to get too fancy. Once she breaks, we'll be good. Give bloodlust to our cold ones. Chariots are doing a good job of running down the Reaver archers. Corsair hand bows. Is that it? Can we finish now? How many kills they racked up? 21. Not bad. Chariots versus horses. Just have them chase. I don't think we'll have to beat them twice, but just in case, we should probably kill a few more models. And call that good. Medusa didn't do anything. Like, whatever. We just had to break the front line, get onto the princess, instant crumble. I just didn't like the balance of power. Uh, it would have taken a lot of our guys. We lost basically nothing. 
We lost probably a couple bleak swords or something. We will profit from your lives. We're gonna have to take that replenishment. The must be filled. Another level, excellent. They're still alive. You jerks. Okay. Well, let's come and do that. It's not bad. I mean, we're going to get more gold. I could go for Elvish Healing right now, which lowers attrition and increases our replenishment rate. Uh, but man, we need Quartermaster. Every turn that goes by where I don't have that maximum uh, benefit feels pretty terrible. Let's also grab Training. That's maxed out now. So we're going to get that nice passive increase. Evasion here, giving her melee defense and speed. We need to get into here. Show your All right, finish you off. We didn't lose any units. Put the slave masters to work. And that's big casualty replenishment rate. That's what we needed. The dagger of Hotek. I don't recognize this weapon. Created by Hotek, a renegade priest of Vol. This blade of obsidian allows the wielder to strike with blinding speed. Plus twenty weapon damage, plus five melee attack, and enables magical attacks. The void Very cool. I don't know if Malice didn't have magic demon. attacks already, though. We got a couple I good uh, benefits there, but we want to get ourselves back I'm into back. Tor Serpendar. That'll help some more positive uh, public order. Let's see what this plague actually does. Income from buildings minus 50% and it reduces our growth. The people grow restless. Okay. I am no puppet. I feel like we want to get as close to Scraghole as we can get. Are we just like regenerating our plague by sitting in it? That's kind of what I'm asking myself right now. I hope that's not the case. We'll finish off Conqueror here. But like, I don't know how long this plague lasts. It says turds remaining. I feel like I just need to get away from it. Hmm. I don't know. We've got a little bit of gold now. I'm tempted to upgrade this. I want Sisters of Slaughter, Reaper Bolt Throwers, and Shielded Dark Shards. I think that's a huge, like, technical upgrade for us. But before I do that, let's make sure that everyone else is good. We're leveling here. I think we can go one more turn without recruiting. I don't need to drink the elixir or anything like that yet. Cease your provocation. You know what? Let's upgrade the Dark Hold. We've got a lot of growth that we're just not using right now. Temple of Cain has no special buildings. Just gotta get garrisons and everything here. I don't feel safe until my starting provinces are locked down. And it's very difficult to expand at that point. And since I did that, I'm gonna go ahead... Damn, we can't. Hmm. I could pop out here and maybe go for some sort of ambush. Because the thing is, if we could take this area from Tretch, that would be huge. Get some replenishment. Extra replenishment. I can't quite afford both of these. Nah, I'm going to stay in Hagray for now. We've got a Rebellion coming next turn. We just need to heal up. I'll spend some gold then. Getting a better army. Alright, Krokgar is getting rid of these agents for me. Give my boy Krokgar. For now. And now he's got war with these orcs. We don't want to fight those guys. Okay. And it's just a nice, small group of Dark Elves that we should be able to easily beat. We're nearly healed up. We'll keep that in mind. And we do have... Oh, man. I can't attack them there. They're safe in that location. And there's another storm here, so, like, I can't... Hmm. 
Hmm. Ah, I'm suffering attrition is the big problem. I could come to the mysterious island and come right back. I don't know if I can reach it, though. We don't need to go to the center. We can just go to the edge. Oh, it's actually, you can't now. Let's take the mushroom stew. 1,500 gold and Mathlon's blessing. Plus 25% physical resistance for 10 turns. That is amazing. Uh, but we need to get back in here. Otherwise, they'll besiege this and we'll get locked out. So let's get in. We won't be able to recruit any units, but that 25% physical resistance is pretty awesome. Oh, and we still have heavy iron. So extra armor, weapon strength, and armor piercing. It's just how big are they going to get before they try and siege me? That is something I don't know the answer to. Krogar looks like he's going up here to Watek or whatever it is. Shut up! Demon. We are going to leave this place and try not to infuse Scrag Hole with Plague. I grow weary. Which I think is something that we could do. I think we could end up spreading it. Yeah, we need to get away from that. Not and we don't know where Queek is. Queek is somewhere around here. He could be plotting to mess us up. Okay, we've got a good bit of gold. Or Elasaur. I'm looking down here constantly because I really want to upgrade the Tower of the Sun and get I mean getting these these ports all upgraded would be amazing uh, but I want to lock this place down as one of our primary sources for our uh, scrolls of Akardi okay but before we do that we need to come up here recruit and go in hot yeah, even with those two regiments of renown, the balance of power is like, I don't know, man. They have witch elves. Send them to the underworld. You probably can't beat them. We shall see. Easy, easy fight. We can take a second to look at the Hellebroni and the new uh, harpies. Check out what they look like. Interesting terrain. They start us the, like, in the water. What a superior position this is. Huh. Well? What do you ladies look like? Kind of super bloody looking. You've got like this weird pink particle around them. Okay. I'll take it. And let's march forward. So, meat shields in front. We can't pass over this. Or can we? We'll see. Kind of a narrow deployment. Here. We'll deploy these guys here. Hambos will be their own thing, you guys. Something like this. Elebroni in the back. Keep them with the Beastmaster. Let's actually put him in there as well. Some Dark Shards to try and focus down their Dark Shards. But I think they outnumber my range tools. A little bit of Cav. And we'll see what kind of use we can make of these crows. Hopefully good use. Alright, let's start. Advance. Yeah, I had a feeling we wouldn't be able to walk past this. So let's advance to here. And then we'll reevaluate. Because we're also going to have to walk around this. We can use the crows to scout. No doubt they're just like in the woods here on the other side. Perhaps. We just have to be careful of their ranged units. Wow, from far away I can't even see them. It's almost like a weird visual bug. 
You know, I'm starting to feel like my graphical settings have been, like, turned down somehow. As I look around. I might want to check that after... After I'm done recording. When I get in close, like, everything looks pretty good, but... There's a moment where stuff is kind of fuzzy. Huh. Alright, and our ability that we have here, the Shadows of Onlek. Get the crows behind them if we can. How strong is this? Test it out. That was pretty good. It didn't get a single kill, but it did a lot of HP damage. And they're doing the right thing. They're kind of turtling up in a nice position. We are going to take the long way around. And I'm going to fast forward it in a bit here. And we're going to come right up this, this tunnel, this pipe. Keep an eye on their range. See, they're going to try and change based on, you know, the pressure that I'm applying with the Harpies. They really don't want to let me get behind them. And here they go. This is going to mess with them quite a bit. Look at that formation. Ha! <laughs> okay. If we had magic, this is where we would really abuse it. That was another powerful blast. Let's just send the army forward. Lock formation, send them forward. Ooh, we don't need to do that. And dark shards can shoot. Dark shards. Get lord on lord. We lost control thanks to those uh, witch elves. Come on, guys. Should hit him and this group here, perhaps. Everyone's like walking for some reason. To destruction. Dealers in death. Maybe I should have been a bit more tactical. Let's get in there with the calf. And the harpies are coming in hot. Are they now regenerating? They're kind of bright red. I'm not sure what they're chasing currently. I had them on this target here. Weird. Very weird. Alright, chase them off. Chase them off, chase them off. Huh. Very hard to see what's going on in a forest battle. Had this been a more difficult battle, uh, I definitely would have uh, slowed my engagement a little bit. Sent just enough units to hit the front line and send enough to, uh, to encircle and get rear charges. Just none of that was really necessary. Which is the way we like it. I don't like fair fights. I want to smash every single group I come across. That way I can expand and win as quickly as I like. Now I don't know why they're not all kind of attacking at once. They are regenerating it seems. Incredibly slow. It's like two a second. It's a little faster than that. Maybe three or four a second. I mean that's something I guess. As long as you can keep their models intact. Are they seriously still fighting because their lord's still fighting? Alright, come over here and kill those dark shorts for me. Our calf has been rampaged. No, no, no. You keep going. My Hellebroni. Hellebroni, what have you been doing this whole battle? They have a slightly different color scheme. A little bit more ornate. These trees really messed us up. Balance of power so ridiculously far in our favor. These Corsairs somehow returned. Alright, all we have to do is shoot at them a little bit and there they go. 
Let's try and get a few more kills, that way we can auto-resolve the next battle. Yeah, the way these things engage feels a little strange to me. They're doing that... It's kind of a weird bug, I think, that appeared recently. They started appearing, like, in these straight lines. Whenever you give them orders, they'll get in, a, like, a weird single-column file. I've noticed that a lot since I probably the last patch. Maybe a bit before that. Those Witch Elves, man, they, they actually did do a lot of damage. But to think that the balance of power was anywhere close, I could have been way more tactical with that battle and lost very little. But since I don't see myself as leaving Hagri this this turn, and I figured we would take the replenish bait and the slivs. My control is strengthened. The only way this backfires is if Tretch is like right here. Alright, we went up a loyalty, that's great. Draft Master is important, and eventually on our way to Quartermaster and Lightning Strike. Alright, that's the type of odds I enjoy. It is your lucky day. And since this is not really a lot of slaves, 93 is basically nothing, we're going to take the 400 something gold. And I know that we're going to be back by Hagrave. Another rebellion's pretty imminent. Let's get back into the city. There we go. And that neutralizes the public order and gives us better replenishment. And that's it for him. Is he up to 8? Not quite. I'm worried that this is going to go back to 10 and we're going to get back into the negatives again. Does getting... Hold on. Does getting this increase our master? No, it doesn't. So we can't get an additional master for maxing out Warriors Hall. Is what I was kind of hoping. Does this lower... Yeah, it does lower upkeep, though. It's pretty crucial. You cannot hold out. Power of the Sun is an important thing to upgrade. Let's do that. And then I will come over here and upgrade this. We have exactly the right amount. Um, although... Dang it. I think we just need to... No, never mind. Never. I keep saying something... I thought we were in a particular stance that we'd be able to recruit. I feel like we need to recruit more units. Uh, but this only takes one turn to finish. And we'll have access to some incredibly powerful units. We need to get a couple Reaper Bolt Throwers in this group. Malevolent Lord. I think that'll serve us well. Okay. Let's roll it one more time. I don't think Krotgar is going to attack Dawn's Light. And in fact, if we attack Dawn's Light, I think that kind of screws our relationship with him. The only thing we've got going for us here is that every Skaven army we destroy, Krotgar loves us. Alright, Severe for Pardic, that's good. Happy to see him get that trait. And then here, we've already got Growth. Um, We just don't have enough gold for Torture Posts, which is what we would want. And finally, the plague is gone. We lost a ton of growth in that time. We don't have what we need to get this to a dark tower. Oh no. Queek went here. Oh, that's bad. That is very bad indeed. And we are wasting away. I think we're going to have to recruit a lord. Sure. Let's get a supreme sorceress. I think she'll come with block of... Block of doom, perhaps? I think. Hmm. Anyone else? We could get this guy. A Dreadlord Sword and Crossbow. But magic is the big thing. We don't have the means to recruit our own spellcasters. 
So what we have to do is... Can we not... Mother of the dark queen. Yes, okay. By taking them out of... The Ark... Something is not right. We ruin our upkeep. But we'll be able to put them back on afterwards. Unparalleled power. And now we can recruit... Damn, we don't have any gold. Gross. Okay. He leveled up. Okay. So, casualties. Recruitment cost is a big deal. Get infamous raider. Hmm. Quick says no. Very scary. Do we have more rebellions coming? Pretty much. I, grow I could send Malice back. No lagging. I am still able. Send him here. If I lose Tor Elisor, this campaign goes in a no very lagging. weird direction. That's mostly what I'm concerned what about. Huh. I wish I had those regiments of renown here. As a kind of a rapid response force. Do I have any way of generating gold this turn? Aside potentially from begging for it. I can't kill this damn beastman herd. Malekith is heading south. To fight Tretch, no doubt. Order master. Yeah, I mean, I want to take this place before Malekith can get it. I want to take this entire place. But by doing so, we sink our economy. Perhaps we can go there and kill the Skaven. Unless Tretch's army is right here. That would be the only catastrophic thing. Okay. Rip these foundations. Okay. What you don't take, burn. I don't want Malekith to have this province. This is a great province, and it would be an amazing province for us. But if I take this, then my army. You like know, look at my upkeep right now. Search this place. So I think I sack it. Traveling. And then I go back Heal. into Beast. my zone. Patrolling. Into these confines. Why is my income so far down? The is it arrived. because I'm not inside of this? That's pretty bad. The guiding eye. Okay. Do I have to be in Hagrafe, or is this thing messing with me in some way? Not in this diocese. Are they spreading plague? Oh, this is the special one. Oh, no. You may speak your word. Okay. Um, I can't really give them a target. I want to. I want them to kill armies, not take places. Haynes, your timing is... Yes, you stand before the supreme ruler. Will you give me gold? You will not. Black heart. Make this quick. I have executions. Yeah, everyone hates me. Come, fellow Druki. Let us definitely not. Because I am apparently the strongest player in the game, which doesn't feel that way. We could make friends with these guys. That would make Krogar like us more, but then we'd never be able to conquer this place. I mean, we could always break our pack and ruin our relations with pretty much everyone. Is this worth it? We have to see what the payments are. No. Yeah, now we have serious problems. I thought we would come out ahead from doing that, not fall further behind. I don't quite understand. I'm inside my territory, which I thought is all I needed for the upkeep reduction. 
I could dump a few units, but that's kind of counterintuitive. But I have to have more than I currently do. And I think what I'm going to have to do is cancel that construction. That's the only real option that I see. And then I'm going to have to come over here. Powerful sorcery. And we're going to have to recruit some more units. Um, I'm going to recruit... Hmm, if we do that, we get kind of screwed. Can't do that either. I'm just trying to figure out how I can get two more units into here. And I don't think I can without just going straight up uh, like Dread Spears, for instance. Yeah, that helps. Well, we shouldn't get Dread Spears. We should definitely get Bleak Swords for what, we're, what we'll be facing. Just mass Skaven. What is your dark? Man, wish me luck, guys. The fact that we weren't able to finish this. A Death Hag and another Reaper Bolt Thrower would be great. But there's just no way we're going to be able to also then turn around and drop a Slave Gate in here. Things are getting pretty spicy in our world. Guys, I think that's where we're going to end it for today. Phew, very stressful. Very stressful campaign currently. Uh, not really because the game itself is putting a lot of pressure on me, but because I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to expand and to make plays. And I could just sit still for several turns with a good income and build tall and just get everything locked in. That would probably be the next 20 turns of my campaign with me not moving and just doing, you know, income, income, income over and over again, hitting rebellions, getting levels that way. Uh, we could certainly do that. And maybe that would be the smart thing to do, and it's probably what I would recommend you do in your campaigns. Uh, but I'm trying to push the limits and explore and, you know, expand as quickly as possible. Uh, but perhaps that's not the right move. But anyway, we'll find out what happens in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Once again, my name is Brett. My channel is Good Talk Gaming. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Later, y'all.